So the topic I have today is not a fun topic, but it's necessary. I don't know if you're aware of Shan Quella. Um, I hope I'm saying her name right. She was, and if you're not familiar, just stay tuned. I'll fill you on fill you in on everything that I know to date um this case I think isn't trending the way it should be it isn't getting enough attention the way it should be like how people react when somebody is shot by a police officer or you know other things of that nature Shanquella was a 25 year old and allegedly she was a business owner I believe and so she took her friends down to Mexico you know she wanted to treat them she was like look let's go have fun and do all these great things in Mexico and so they went down there they went to this hotel and eventually over a few days um, they call Shanquella's family and they're like the friends and they're like hey she um, has alcohol poisoning this is all alleged what has been um, released so far so I'll leave those links in the description and the family is like, okay. But it ends up that she was actually, this is after like a few days, weeks after what initially happened. And so it ends up when they're looking at the autopsy and this is the crazy, it's just a lot of crazy stuff to be honest. Um, and condolences to the family. Shanquella has, something weird has happened she's um passed away she's probably you know been um a lot of foul play involved but on the autopsy report they said that her um spine was broken and so also one of the c vertebrae in the neck um according to the autopsy report that i saw from mexico i'll leave that in the description too and it was only her friends that were there now ready for the crazy twist and turn on video they showed that in this hotel room or I don't know if it's the lobby it looks like the hotel room that her friends right her friends they're all in the room and they're fighting her like they're all fighting for what reason nobody knows she wasn't fighting back too much but you could tell she's like a peaceful person she didn't want to you know fight her friends you know for what and so they're fighting her there's men involved and people all these people are watching right all these people are involved because they all came on vacation together and so nobody's like hey let's stop beating her up you know she took us on this vacation and now we're knocking her out you know and so yeah it's just a really really sad and disturbing story and the reason that I wanted to make a video about it is because we're always talking about you know why don't black crime we're talking about a lot of things and i want people in africa to realize this too the um this is another thing about america that's just it's out of control even though they weren't in mex or in america they were from america and went to mexico and so in the black community there's really unfortunate dynamics that happened after around the 80s time with like a lot of um the crack um age and all that stuff when a lot of people were on drugs really bad you see a shift um before that time you know our grandparents time um people stayed married they had morals they had values and all of these things and with media um the crack epidemic um all all types of things at play rap music industry things that they promote what you see in america with black people is this is like not a common story but in america people black people fellow brothers and sisters will knock each other out beat each other up and it is common black on black crime is common more common than it should be it shouldn't be this common and so it's just a really unfortunate and evil 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 thing which is reason number, you know, I could list 5,000 reasons I moved to Tanzania and moved to Africa. This is one of those reasons that the dynamics with black people in America are so fractured and so broken that as a child is growing up in America, they have a few different options. They can either go to a good white school, white suburban school, right, and get a good white suburban education and basically, you know, have a lot of identity issues. 
or they can go to a black school and, you know, get knocked out, beat up, cussed out, and just have to deal with a culture that is not ours, despite what BET wants to show, which, by the way, is owned by elite Jewish people. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a mess. And so this is one of the reasons that I think that you should consider, you know, do you want your black children to be raised in America? Because not only are they fighting police brutality and racism and all of that stuff, they're also fighting their own people. You know, so America is a hot mess. Condolences to the family again. I can't imagine what you're going through. Um, I really hope they get justice. Just, they will get justice. It's just a matter of time. But yeah, um, that's a really heavy, overwhelming story, but I had to talk about it on here because we can't ignore and act like these things don't happen. Act like people in our community aren't literally insane and going crazy. They deserve jail time. Whoever did the fatal blow, you know, I'm not even going to say what they deserve. I'm going to just get off peacefully. And, yeah, I want you to think about what America has to offer for your children and for your community. There is no sense of community in America. There is. It's just been completely destroyed. Shalom.